when installing 7 8 corrugated metal roofing, overlapping the panels correctly, and installing the screws in the correct location is crucial. In this video, we're going to show you how it's done. Welcome to the Western States Metal Roofing Channel. We will cover how to overlap corrugated metal roofing panels, screw location, screw placement on the panels, screw line spacing, and how many screws do I need. We'll also provide you with a downloadable guide so you'll have this information handy for your installation. Prior to overlapping the panels, a strip of double-sided beetle tape should be placed at the overlaps. Apply the sealant tape along the second high seam of the lower roofing panel. The panel should be overlapped by two corrugations. Lap panels away from prevailing winds whenever it's possible. When you overlap the panels, you will lose coverage. The width of the panel is not the area it will cover. For example, 39 inch wide panels will only yield 34.67 inches of coverage after the panel side lap. 37 inch wide panels will only yield 32 inches of coverage after the panel side lap. Screw location, roofing application. Do the fasteners go in the highs or lows of the panel? When fastening a corrugated metal roofing panel, our recommendation is that the fasteners should be placed on the high seam of the panel. You will have a more weather tight panel because the screws are exposed to less water and debris. The valley of the low is narrow and the screw head is large in comparison to the width of the valley. It acts like a dam as the water passes over it. If you have a ceiling washer that has failed, it will leak as water passes around the screw. You eliminate this problem when the screw is located on the high versus the low of the panel. Screw placement for corrugated metal roofing, 37 inch and 39 inch widths. 7 8 corrugated is available in many different widths. 37 inch and 39 inch are the two most common sizes. The width of the panels is dependent upon the manufacturer, gauge, and finish that's chosen. Corrugated metal roofing will have lots of screw lines. A screw line is a row of screws that's spaced at a specific distance from the next row of screws. Each screw line for a panel will consist of four screws placed on the high seam of the corrugated panel. For a 37 inch wide panel, the screws are spaced out so that every third corrugation has a screw. Panels that are 39 inches in width will result in an additional corrugation. For this size panel, you still need four fasteners per screw line, which are placed every third corrugation. However, in one location, it will be on the fourth corrugation. It is crucial that your screws land on the overlap of panels. It should run along the first high seam of the lower panel. Screw line spacing. How far apart are the screw lines? When you are trying to determine screw line spacing, you have to realize that each job is different. Some jobs are located in areas that have high winds, while others may be located in snow country or desert. You should also make sure that you're in compliance with your local building codes. For this reason, the spacing between screw lines should be determined by the engineer. You should hire an engineer to determine screw spacing. If you choose not to hire an engineer, then here are some general guidelines. Metal roofing attaching to solid plywood substrate. The overwhelming majority of the jobs we sell are installed with screw lines at 24 inches on center. If the job is not installed at 24 inches on center, then the next two most common distances are 18 inch or 36 inch on center. When in doubt, more attachment is better than less attachment. At overlaps, additional screws should be placed in the middle of your screw line spacing. Screws at overlap should not exceed 18 inches to 24 inches on center. Metal roofing attaching to metal purlins. An engineer will use a load chart in order to determine the spacing between metal purlins. Once the purlin spacing is determined, then the metal roofing panels are typically attached to every line of purlins. How many screws do I need? For this calculation, we will assume screw lines at 24 inches on center. If your screw lines are closer or further than 24 inches on center, 
You can make some adjustments based upon this formula. Here are two easy formulas for determining the amount of metal roofing screws. 1. Take your square footage and multiply it by 80%. Example, 3,000 square feet times 80% is 2,400 screws. 2. 80 screws for each roofing square. A roofing square is 100 square feet. Example, 30 roofing squares times 80 screws equals 2,400 screws. Don't forget to order metal to metal screws for the trims and flashings. You'll need one lap screw for each lineal feet of trim or flashing. For a downloadable guide of this content, check out the links in the description below. The number one cause of metal roof leaks is incorrect screw attachment. Check out another one of our videos that shows you how to properly fasten your metal roof.